welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to review my rooftop tent. And uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty awesome. Um, I've done four. This is fifth one. Uh, this is for a different video, but I figure I better do this since I already have the video half done. I was going to do it the other day, but it was so windy that the audio quality would probably suck. So uh, yeah, I just need to get this set up and uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, I got it all nice and set up. Um, when I was in the market and was looking for a rooftop tent, um, it was like a year in the making. Unfortunately, the reason I'm making this is when I was buying this tent, I couldn't find too many reviews, YouTube reviews. There was a very few. The only ones I could find are the one things that were wrong with it. They didn't say, hey, do I like it? Blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna make a review. The biggest reason I bought this is it's flipping huge. It measures roughly about uh, 68 inches by, whoop, sorry, 74 inches by 84 inches. So literally can sleep either way, front to back. It has an eight inch telescopic or telescopic, however you guys wanna say it, um, ladder. It goes up to nine feet. It's a fully adjustable, has these little, little levers that you just push in and it adjusts it to the height you need if you're on uneven ground. Has, I think it came with four of these boot bags. Yeah, um, really nice black diamond plate with marine grade attachment points. Even the latches are marine grade. And it comes with two awnings on either side, raining awnings. And I don't know what those are called. They're like, Awning poles, sure, we're gonna go with that. Yeah, this thing's awesome. I'm gonna, we're gonna go around the other side. Another reason why I got this, I uh, had to have a hard top tent for one, ease of use, for putting it away in the wintertime, fuel economy. Has a polyurethane, hard shell, has wind channels built right into it to help with your fuel economy. Uh, my, I don't know how badly this is killing my fuel economy as of right now. My truck always does really poorly in the winter uh, because where I'm from, it's super windy. So every time you're driving west, you're pretty much driving right into the wind. And sometimes it's 80 to 90 K winds. So like today when I was leaving where I'm from, it was pretty windy and my I could tell my fuel economy once I got out of the wind, it was no big deal. So yeah, yeah, this thing's great. We're gonna go inside and I will, uh, I'll see you in there. All right, here we are inside. Get rid of this. This is uh, my storage bag for the things that open up the fly. I do not know what the name is, but as you can see, this thing's huge. Uh, I'm six foot two. I can lay pretty much side to side or front and back. It doesn't matter which way I lay in this thing. I can fit. It just depends on what I feel like from one day to the next or one cab trip to the next, I should say. It has. This is, this is the thing I love the most. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it right up. But yeah, it has like a little moon, moonlight. Probably way overexposing this. The sun has decided to come out, but it is. this this tent um it it's four season ready. It holds the heat good. I've been in two pretty crappy situations. Uh, one time it was raining all the time, and my last camping trip, if you saw it, if not, you should go see it now. I had like 18 inches of snow on my truck when I got up in the morning. And honestly, I did not freeze. I, I, would, I would say in the middle of the night, I was a little chilly, but I think I should have maybe threw something on for the most part. It's, it holds the heat. Like right now it's warm, like super warm in here. It has two air vents on either side right there. Two big windows. If you want more added airflow, you open this up, it has a huge window with, uh, with bug netting like this bug netting on uh, either side and same with this. This has bug netting plus it has has another thing that opens up if you if you want to open it. This is the thing I love the most about it. Storage. Six big pockets on the back wall. Um, felting on the inside and then it has a huge zipper so if you want to stuff a 
jacket or something in there to get it out of the way. What I don't do, uh, I'm gonna show you over here, I'm gonna move you. This is what I do, I have a little carabiner and most jackets will have that little piece of cloth on the back. I hook mine in there and I just hang it. There's 18 of these things, like all over the place. Like it's great. Nice quilted uh, mattress cover on this. It has double zipper. So you can buy uh, an annex for this if you want. You t zip it up. It gives you an extra living space if you want it for say, if you're winter camping, if you want a place warm to just hang out and have the heater running. Yeah, cook your food, vice versa. Yeah, this is great. The zippers, the zippers are awesome. Uh, I don't, I can't really tell, tell you right now. I have everything tied up, but the zippers are pretty substantial. And yeah, like this thing's pretty awesome. All right, well, I'm gonna hop down and then I'm going to, I'll tell you what my pros and cons with this is. All right, welcome back. Just one thing, tent is flipping amazing. It's a four person, it's large. I actually forgot to tell you, it came with a couple memory foam pillows. Um, with my bad, bad bad neck and stuff, I probably will never use them. It's pretty cool. It came with, I think four of those bags, tell you the truth. Came with a couple mats. Yeah, this thing is amazing. Uh, I got it for two reasons. It's big, it's made of the same material as my awning, same same company, and my awning is designed to, so the rooftop tent will sit in the middle and it won't interfere. So when I open it up, there's very little gap so the rain doesn't come pouring down on this one side. I'm gonna go with the cons. Um, when it rains, my front entrance, yeah, you get rained on, man. It pulls, it pulls the rain, and then as soon as you step on the ladder, it pours right on top of your head pretty much. So I'm gonna have to figure something out. I think I'm gonna get a custom made tarp with a couple eye hooks. So when I'm hooking in the, the, the awning, I guess it would be called, I don't know what it's called, the vestibule or vice, when I'm hooking that up and having it out, uh, I'm gonna hook a tarp in so I can actually tie it down and actually have it a little farther away from the ladder where it's dripping on the ladder so that way when you step on the ladder it's going to drip behind you and not directly on top of your head um and uh two i don't really like the latches on on my tent there's just a real pain in the butt um you really have to get some leverage to get them to close so if you don't have a lot of upper body strength and if you don't have a high enough like uh, something high enough to press down on it while you close it. It can be a little cumbersome. It take my first couple times. It took me a bit. Now I think I've got it pretty much, pretty much covered. I can get this thing closed in roughly five minutes uh, if I'm really hauling and I'm not dawdling along. And it opens up literally in like, like four minutes, for three and a half minutes, not even. I bet you from the time I open it to the time I put in all the, the poles to hold open the awnings and the and stuff, I bet you it is three and a half minutes. Three and a half, for sure. Uh, this thing's awesome, I love it. Another reason I bought it, I'm a pretty big guy. I got a fairly crappy back for the most part. Sleeping in the back of my truck, uh, I can do it and I probably still will do it on certain occasions like in the winter when I don't really feel like dealing with this first thing in the morning when it's like minus 24 or 25. I'll use the back of my truck. But for now, when the weather's nice, this thing's going to be used all the time. So there's going to be still truck camping videos, but this one's going to be probably 80, 80% 80 of the time I'm going to use this. All right. Um, that's all I have to say. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I know this wasn't the best video in the world. Um, I'm just letting you my thoughts. This thing is flipping awesome. It holds in the heat. It's great. It gives me a spot to put in. I have a diesel heater that you've seen on my other videos. I just run it into the one of the windows, zip it around, and it holds in the heat. It's great. Only two things that really bothered me about it, but honestly, they're they're fixable. They're they're totally fixable. I, I could easily get myself a custom made tarp made for when it rains. And I probably will very shortly. I'm going to start doing some research, find out. I don't need it very big. I probably want it an extra two or three feet off. And then I can tie it in there and then I'll just tie it, like anchor it to the ground 
and at least it'll give us give me well give us a spot so when we step on that thing it's not gonna pour right on top of our head so there you go so if you like this video comment like subscribe and well I'm gonna get back to filming my other video so I can get two videos done this week all right I'll see you in the next one